of the hottest diets around. You're always asking me about it, the ketogenic diet, which focuses on high fat foods to help burn body fat. So again, high fat foods, they say, will burn body fat. How's that possible? Well, superstar pro athlete Tim Tebow is back to break down the truth about this trendy diet and to show you his top keto secrets for success. I mean, this thing is everywhere. And with the fact that pro athletes like you who you know, get paid to manage your body and have advisors giving you insights are, is, is in love with the diet means a lot to me. So what has it done for you? Oh, it's done so much. To be honest, I've been on this for over seven years now. Ooh. And so I was kind of on it before the trend. And for me, it's not just about my body or staying lean or trying to be in shape. It's also about my brain. It's about waking up each day and fueling your brain so that you feel um, cognitively ready to go and ready to take on the day. All right, so break it down. Uh, give me a, a, a plate of keto. What would you normally have on it? I would have all of this stuff. I love cashews, love steak, love chicken. Um, you know, you, obviously you gotta have your vegetables. So I'll even make like spinach shakes. Um, I'll put, you know, cauliflower with my But not a lot. Up. No, not necessarily as much, but I will have a lot of fat. So I know the, the bacon it looks really good. And a lot of people are like, no, I stay away from bacon. I don't stay away from bacon. I love it. You eat bacon. I eat bacon. I love bacon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gosh. We'll come back to that in a second. <laughs> now, but yeah, this is a 75% fat. You may mm -hmm. actually have a little more protein, I know, because you're an athlete. Yeah. But this is the rough breakup of it. So a lot of you have questions about it, because it does seem too good to be true. So let's go to Leah over here. What's your question, Leah? Does keto really burn fat, and how does it work? How does it work? You want to show everybody how it works? Sure, let's All do right. it. I mean, a little animation is based on Tim's body, right? <laughs> and what it could be and what, and what it is now. So sugar, obviously, is everyone's favorite energy source, right? And whether you eat it from foods and whatever source it might be, cookies or ice cream, but also even healthy carbohydrates, it converts you to sugar in your body. And when you eat too much of that sugar, you begin to get big and wild, like you can see here in this little animation. By eating a ketogenic diet, right, these are the foods that Tim was just talking about, right? They're not the foods, like there's an avocado there, but you can have bacon too in this conceptually. You're eating primarily fats. And as long as you do this long enough, instead of running on sugar, your body has to switch over to burn some of the fat that you store. So all that fat, you know, those love handles in this animation begins to shrink away a little bit. Right? At the end, when you break down fat, you create a chemical called ketones, ketones. And it's those ketones, which we all know about in medicine, but you're just figuring out in the pop culture is important to understand, is what, is, what, is what gives rise to the phrase ketosis. You'll sometimes smell ketones on the breath of people who are on a ketonic, ketotic diet, a ketogenic diet. Can you diet. smell my breath? Can no. Smell. <sighs> that, was, yeah. that was really close. Yes, but. minty, fresh breath. How, why don't you have ketones coming out of your mouth? <laughs> no, he, he, checks, he checks his blood test. You, I know your ketones are high. Why don't you have ketones in your breath? Uh, probably it's because I brush my teeth. I don't know. <laughs> all right, next question is from Alexa, and it's about a keto snack because we all need snacks. How are you, Alexa? Good. How are you? What do you got for us? Did What's you try question? one? I have not. Don't try yet. No, you're gonna. It's one second. Tim, it's all about timing. You're Why professional. Why are you yelling athlete. at me? All right. So, Bye. I especially love carbs. So how do you not get bored of fats and proteins, especially in snacks? Well, that's a really good question. For me, I have snacks like this, and this is a, a healthy snacks that's sort of like a Reese PC type treat, and it will have um, coconut oil, it will have real cacao, it will have MCT oil, so it's like a fat bomb for me. So it's, I think it tastes pretty good, especially when you haven't had sugar in years. And, but it also is kind of gives you that sweet flavor and a little bit of a crunch, so it's kind of like a Reese PC. You didn't add sugar to this because it's quite sweet. No sugar. Stevia. Oh. If you like stevia, you yeah. put stevia in it. What do you think of it, Alexa? It's really good. It's really tasty and light and refreshing. Come on, Alexa. If you were on a desert island, what ketogenic food would you take with you? I would want to take those Reese pieces, but I think they would melt. <laughs> yeah. um, so I think I'd take avocado. Avocado? Probably. There it is, guys. And Tim says he actually eats three avocados a day, which that seems high to me. Is that what you really do? Yeah. If you literally just cut it open, have a half, have another half later, it's such an awesome like, meal replacement. Did, can I ask you a personal question? Of course. Does your poop ever turn green? <laughs> it actually, in theory... I get why you said it's a personal question. <laughs> I, don't, I guess I don't really check. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone looks. Everybody looks. Well, in theory, Alexa, just to warn you, now he's a big guy, but if you were to have you know, four, five, six of these babies a day, it could create problems in that regard. But just to do the math, three avocados is 700 calories if you have all three. So that's 63 grams of fat. So it meets the ketogenic diet, but it's a lot of calories for a lot of folks. So you need to work out if you're gonna have that many calories or have two avocados. Mm -hmm. Now, more than a little hack, notice I would normally have, and you would too, some kind of chip with this. Yes. He uses cucumber. Oh. 
which is pretty clever. So go ahead and give it a I'll shot. Try. Don't be so fearful here. It's not going to bite you. But these are the kind of it's hacks. It's healthy, but it also gives a nice little crunch. Oh, she's waiting. She's waiting. Oh, wow. That's really good. So there you have it. Did Tim See, convince you to go about. keto? You, would you go keto? I definitely would. More convinced today. How many folks are more open-minded to keto now that you heard from Tim? Put your hands up. Oh, you got the whole audience on board. <laughs> well, if that's the case, check out Tim's new book. It's called This Is The Day. There's a beautiful picture of it there. Pay attention to this guy. He's got a lot of good wisdom. We'll be right back. <laughs> be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And remember to check back often to see what's new.